Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Shenanigans. Three, two, one. Today is January 24th, and the day after my honey's 52nd birthday. Um, I actually got out of the house for just a little bit. Um, I literally went to bed at like 6 a.m. I tried, fell asleep for like an hour and a half. Uh, the last two days have been exceptionally difficult in regards to my sleep patterns and um yeah so it's all over the place i have to leave for work tomorrow night um spend the night in salt lake which is my base as a flight attendant and my report time is friday morning at 6 a.m so yeah i gotta head out earlier than i want um all in preparation after having seven days off to uh head back to work for a four-day trip Couple really good things I'm looking forward to is I am working one of uh, with one of my favorite uh, people, um, not only my coworker but my friend, and we have long overnights in like Chicago and I think Tulsa. So we'll catch a show, get some dinner, go thrift shopping. Um, kind of up in the air, literally, if I'm going to go visit my son in Illinois on Saturday morning with a 30-hour overnight all-time record, the longest overnight ever. So yes, I'm looking forward to. Not necessarily going back to work. I don't know if I'm really emotionally ready. Um, a lot of you have been following me, so I'm sure you've seen the other posts uh, where I had uh, an incident at work. But um, yeah, kind of roller coastering it. I have reached out to the crisis center with the airline I work for, and um, they've been extremely supportive. Just a lot of paperwork, still under investigation, kind of back and forth and updates. And it just kind of, just when I think I'm, um, Moving on and putting it behind me and getting stronger every day, I have to write another report or do something else that just kind of brings it back up to the surface again. But one day at a time, with the help, number one, of my Savior, God, and, of course, my friends and family. You guys are absolutely amazing. So today, I will ramble as I always do, but I'm going to get into a Timu haul. It's going to be relatively short. I know I say that all the time. I'm going to review a couple products that were in one of my previous hauls, uh, a lot of Valentine's Day stuff. As you can see behind me, I've got my throw pillow covers, all you need is love, happy Valentine's Day, love you forever, February 14th, the throw blanket that was really small, little comfort pillow that says never forget that I love you, hug this pillow when you can't hug me, that's for Jay, obviously when I'm at work. Got my Hot Lips Mick Jagger pillow. I love this. This is perfect if you are a side sleeper like me. Fetal position, it's perfect. Just the way the curvature of the lips is, it just kind of sits right between your knees. Extremely comfortable and a really cute accent piece. Um, I think so anyway. Again, if you are new to my channel, welcome to the family. I do have a couple new subscribers. And, of course, for Brenda and Leslie and um, Menopausal Madness and our little gingerbread house, um, Ashton, I, I could spend an hour just thanking each of you individually. Just know that I see you and I hear you. And with the time off, I've been able to respond to a lot of your comments. However, going forward, please know it'll take a little bit longer because I'm going back to work, and they keep me busy. Um, with that being said, I think a lot of this stuff is uh, mainly some more Valentine's Day stuff. That should be the end, minus a couple packages I'm waiting on, and then we'll jump back into the St. Patrick's Day, and then Easter, and um, I'm thinking about, oh, I saw some amazing stuff. Of course, they're in the pricier range for Timu, but I want to redo my powder room. My bathroom. I want to do the farmhouse vibe with the wrought iron and wood. I just love it. Love it. But yeah. So that being said, if you are not familiar with Timu, it is a online marketplace where they're uh, based. Uh, so I, I guess they have like the shipping department or something in Boston. Don't quote me on this, but it's overseas. I live in Utah and uh, they have multiple vendors and they'll sell very similar identical products, different prices. Keep your eye on the prices. Number two, I have noticed is another subscriber and somebody who also does hauls has informed me that um, there's a lot of times now Timu has been putting out that you need to order two of one product. They want a minimum requirement. Look for that same product. Chances are you're going to find 20 other vendors that are selling it where you don't have to purchase two. 
So that is something I'm learning as I go. Love my price adjustments. I have been getting them back from every order and not just, you know, 20 cents, a dollar here, but yeah, $4 back. So really, really important. Review those receipts, get that money back. I don't do farmland or fish land. I don't have time, but I have been getting a lot of free products. Um, being sponsored now with Timu has been sending me things. And with that, I will try not to take any more of your time. Get into it. So number one, I wanted to wear this sweater for you, and it is warm, okay? It is so warm. I thought when I purchased this sweater, number one, I fell in love with it. I love retro cartoons. Your Tom and Jerry, your Popeye, Casper the Friendly Ghost, uh, the Penguin, Chili Willy. Love the classic Warner Brothers stuff. So I saw this, and I had to get it. Okay, it's Popeye. I'm sure you guys have seen this because I've had it in my cart and put it back. And I am guilty of not reading descriptions or sizing. I got pretty lucky with this. Again, it is very warm. Now, what I thought, I thought it was going to be a hoodie. And as you can see, what's that say? All brand new stories, Popeye. Um, kind of hard to read. Olive tries to reform Popeye. Isn't that a woman, right? It's got the Popeye on the sleeves. Um, sleeves are, I guess you could say again, for those, you see my shoulder is right here, ends here. And this does come down a little bit longer. That might be my only complaint, but I do like my shirts baggy. Truthfully, I could have gone down a size or two, probably two, but I like it baggy. I thought it'd be cute just with a pair of, you know, jeans or leggings, some uh, my Timberland boots, but I love it. I love the retro. And it is very, very fluffy. Now, look at the inside. For a minute, I was like, you know what? I could probably get away with wearing this as a reversible. And, oops, <laughs> I'm not trying to flash you guys, I promise. But, yeah, I think, you know, get that inside-out vibe, as long as no tags are showing. I am not ashamed to say I can wear it inside-out. One shirt, two different days, who's going to know? So it's like the taupe lining on the inside. Again, very warm, very soft, fuzzy, cashmere-ish. Love it. That was $10.35. Now, I do believe that, uh, sorry, my mirror is in the way. Uh, I got a price adjustment on that, so I believe it came up to $7.36. I love these bags. Don't you guys love these bags? Oh, and I noticed if, like me, when I go through and I try to price things for you, I use a black Sharpie marker, so I don't have a list. It just keeps it easier for me. I know, I'm disgusting. Remember, your mom used to, like, lick her Kleenex and clean your face? So it's black Sharpie, so it won't come off. And then I do buy gifts for other people, or if I get dupes, I like to keep them nice and clean and protected in these awesome Ziploc bags. This comes right off, just to let you guys know if you didn't know. A little bit of rubbing alcohol. It'll swipe right off as if it were a dry erase. Don't know how I really learned that, but I did, and I'm sharing my knowledge with you. Okay, you guys know I like my wine, and um, I got this. It's, um, I believe it's like a peach pineapple wine. I didn't realize it was sparkling. Not real big on the carbonation and the sparkling. I like the buttery Chardonnays. It's really sweet, almost like a Moscato, and I looked at it, and there is, like, no alcohol in it. So, that's okay, but I, I like my wine. I do not drink every day. I drink every hour. I'm kidding. Obviously, with my job, I can't. I'm home relaxing, doing these hauls. That's what I do. I like it. A couple other products you'll see I already hauled. Again, um, the balloons. Just went and picked these up at five and below for Jay. That's my baby. It was his birthday yesterday. And then we have a place, have you guys ever heard of nothing but Bunt Cake? B-U-N-D-T. So he's got like six of them, but I want to put those to the side because they're just in the background bothering me. And I had a candle lit and we know helium and candles. Not a good mix. So I had to move the candle. Anyway, um, I vape. Good note is, I have probably about, I'm going to move around quite a bit, like 20 different vapes, different flavors. I get the minimum 2% nicotine. I cut down, like, and I used to smoke like a pack 
to a pack and a half of cigarettes and I quit cigarettes about three years ago. So this is my vice and um, I am trying to stop vaping and I've gotten really good, especially as stressful as this week was, you know, to go from like the full on nicotine to 15 to 12 to 10 to two, I think it's two. This is a coconut banana. I wonder if Timu has vapes. I don't want to vape anymore anyway. So I showed this to you quickly in uh, one of my Valentine's Day hauls. It is acrylic, cute little mason jar. And it's a little jar of big ideas. Handmade. Now I've seen that they had other ones of these like... I love you and what to do. And we never really run out of things to do, but I wanted to, I went through and they come in these strips and I just folded them up. And some of the things, you know, um, one of them is like, go to the beach. Well, guess what? Our closest beach is California. And that is going to be like a six hour drive. So that might not be a quick idea, but this one is go to our water park. Another thing we don't, well, we have like the kids little water park in St. George, but we have a pool and jacuzzi. So could substitute that. Another one uh, is build a campfire. For some reason, that one's calling me. I love my candles. I love fire. Some of my sleep sounds I'll listen to at night is the, you know, ocean waves or campfire where you, you can hear the wood crackling or my all-time favorite thunderstorms. It just really soothes me. It helps me. And again, there is quite a few of these. Uh, I think there's a hundred. And you can even be creative if you wanted more and cut up some little strips of paper and come up with your own ideas. Like restaurant hop. Not something we do. Um, I'm on the Ozempic shot and man, when I tell you I fill up half a sandwich, half a cup of soup, I'm stuffed if I even finish it. <laughs> this one is not happening for your girl because I am a klutz but let's just say randomly shake it up and this is probably similar idea what I'm gonna do um, I want to get to this real quick as you guys know um, December 1st I had a Christmas haul if you want to backtrack and view that if you haven't already um, I believe that was around the time give or take that I had reached a thousand subscribers and when this channel started taking off I said one of the things I was gonna do was do a giveaway and at first I was like, oh, I'm just going to order a whole bunch of my favorite Timu items and send them to somebody. But let's say one of mine um, is a cabinet organizer. Your cabinet dimensions might not be the same as mine. So what I believe I'm going to opt to do, and I do have quite a few products that I've got dupes of. But by the time I come home from a four or, or six day work trip, go to the post office, get your address when I pull the winner... Um, it's going to be a lot. So, from December 1st until January 1st, for any any video I posted, whether it's Timu related or not, I am going to um, pull a winner. Just going through this. I like this thrift new outfits. I want to dress him and he can dress me. He's going to put me in sweatpants and a sweatshirt. But, um... What I'm going to do again is pull a winner. Make sure you have Cash App or Venmo. If you don't have it, you're going to need that. If I select you as a winner, I'm not going to do Zelle. I, I just, um, those are the platforms that I use. And I think what I'm going to do is just send um, a mystery amount. It could be $50. It could be $75. It could be $100. It could be a $50 cash. You can use it on Timu, which I hope would be since that's a majority of this channel is hauls that you would spend it on, but go get your nails done. Go pay for that haircut. Go take your significant other on a date. Treat yourself. And it's just my way of giving back um, to my friends. Again, not using that term lightly, but to all of you for being here, for your continued support. To qualify once again for the drawing that I'm going to do by the end of the month, no later than February 1st, realistically, probably around next week. I believe, I think, like the 27th is what I said I'd do. But definitely keep your eye 
on all of the um, hauls that I've done for December. I may even continue it through until I pull that name. So let's say I pulled, today's the 24th. Yeah, it's not going to be the 27th because if I leave for work tomorrow, I won't be back for six days. So we'll say by February 1st. Keep an eye on my videos. Get those notifications. Hit that like button. Whenever I post a video, I will pull a name. I'll have everybody's names in here. We'll mix it up. And it's for anybody, again, to qualify, you have to leave a comment. Starting from December 1st until, let's say, February 1st. But until I say, if I do it next week, here's the winner. I'll give you time to respond, probably another week out. So again, I'm going to pull one winner. One lucky winner is going to win monetary gift from me. You have to have Cash App or Venmo. You have to keep an eye on my videos. If I pull your name, let's say your name is Jane Smith, and I pull Jane Smith, you're my lucky winner. Thank you for your comments. I'm going to combine all the videos, all the comments. Now, if you leave me 50 comments a day, I'm sorry, but to be fair to everybody, one person, one raffle to the drawing. So if I have 100 people, there'll be 100 names in here. If I have 20, which I already know I'm probably at about 100 now, it'll be one. Chances are good. Again, make sure you keep an eye on this channel. When I pull your name, I think the best method of contact for me is going, you can, yes, leave me a comment on my YouTube channel, but to get an exchange of Venmo or Cash App, what I will need from you is your address or your Venmo or Cash App link. I'll work through the details. I know it's kind of all over the place. All I know is somebody's going to win something, and I will let you know via these videos. I will not be reaching out to you in any other format. So keep an eye on the videos. I'll have probably in the description when I pull the winner, it'll say Timu winner. So then just see, watch that particular video. When I pull the name, if it's you, Again, you can contact me on this forum, or for those of you who have not already reached out to me via my Facebook page, it is Shannon, S-H-A-N-N-O-N, -N -N, Shannon. Last name is Dilling, that's D as in Delta, I-L-L-I-N as in Nancy G, Dilling, like a dill pickle, I-N-G. Oh, sorry about that. Going forward, this was another item that I had purchased. I already gave it to Jay. And it's 14 things I love about you. So you get this board and these blank circles underneath these gold. They're stickers. Now what the stickers are, they're kind of like a scratch-off ticket. Now we don't have them in Utah. They probably do in your state. But you know, you go and get those dollar scratch-offs or whatever. And then I'll tell you what your price is. So underneath this, the stickers are on a separate sheet like this. You fill in the 14 things that you love about your partner. I put, I love your smile. I love how you love me. I love how you look at me. I love how we can speak to each other without moving our lips. I love when you compliment me. I love when you do the dishes, you know? So every day you'll scratch off something I love about him. I just thought that was really cute. All right, let's get to it, shall we? Continue. Next product, this was three pieces. And it was $3, sorry for the crinkling, and three three pieces for $3.99. So, uh, what is it, about a buck thirty-five, give or take? Less than $1.50 each. And what it is, is you know the cup holders inside your vehicle, or just crevices and places you can't really get, like the air vents, um, depending on your central heating or whatever, um, Fan blades be really good for a rotating fan if you have it, an osculating fan to get in between those blades. So I didn't open it yet. I just went through and priced it and I gave one to Jay and then I'll keep one in my truck. So it's, ooh, wow. Okay. Oh, I kind of like the smell. I'm weird though. I like the smell of gasoline and skunks. I'm going to get a contact high from this. But um, basically, it's kind of like slime. 
And I wish I had something I could hold it against, but you just kind of drop it in, like if that's the cup holder inside your truck, and you just get like this, and the sticky part of it is supposed to pick up any like lint or debris. I like that smell, actually it's kind of, kind of fruity. So we'll see if this works. And now in regards to like the residue on my hands, now this, so it doesn't dry out, obviously, I will put it in one of my little snack Ziplocs. And everything, uh, oh, it, it has a little picture of keyboard, so on your laptop or whatever. I do all my filming from my piece of crap phone. I eventually will be upgrading my recording equipment. I really need to, like, get a laptop or something, but um, I'm too busy buying household products and everything else with Tima. So I went and did my hair yesterday, and as you can see, she used a different color toner. And it came up with, like, a darker blonde versus the, like, platinum that I normally rock. But it's okay. She didn't really cover all the gray on the side, so I'm a little upset with that. But I did get the Madison Reed powder brush. Hello, oh, my friends. Next product was $7.41. What? $7.41. What is it, you ask? Well, I'm glad you asked, because I feel like I'm doing an infomercial. It is a portable vacuum cleaner. It does have the user's manual on there, and is it in English? And sure, the switch is turned off before charging. The indicator light is red when charging and blue when it's working. Replace different nozzles according to different situations. It will do better when... Used if nozzle is flat against the surface or object. Okay, do not remove. Repair. All right, seven dollars forty-one cents. Let me take my glasses off on, off on. Looks like it has a little like HEPA filter. Looks like a little coffee pod, right? Little HEPA filter. It's got your USB cord. It's got this little uh, brush. This will be good, like for the floorboards. We've got the vents. I don't know. Is that central heating, you guys? I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. It's got the little slant thing. This will be good for window sills. I'm just showing you the attachments. They do have different colors. I got the black. It actually has uh, two of these HEPA filters. Now, can I figure out how to assemble it without instructions? Okay. Kind of looks like a little hair dryer. Very small. Ooh. Good God, that scared me. Wow. All right. How do we work? Uh, it says pass. You got your charging port on the bottom. How do I do this? So now I want to play with it. Okay, I guess that would go like that. Where does the filter go? Does it go in here? Does this open? I don't want to break it, you guys. Let me see. Go that. Let me see. Does it go this way? Okay. I don't feel. Oh, I guess. There we go. Hey, braid my hair. All right, is it gonna suck anything up? Yeah. All right. Hey. It's loud. Only has the one speed and it's loud, but guess what? I am really, I mean, Seven dollars and forty-one cents. That's insane. Insane. So, like, I we have ceramic tile in the house. Um, the only rooms that are carpeted is the bedrooms and the living room. And uh, this is perfect. Honestly, this is like perfect if I uh, 
sharpen my makeup pencils. A lot of times I'll get the shavings on the ground. It's like I don't want to vacuum the whole rug. This is perfect. Scale one to ten. That is a definite ten for me. Now, I do want to put that away neatly, but I think I've already rambled 20 minutes away. So, next products. 